This video is specially prepared for friends who have already passed 60 years of life. As we enter the second half of our lives, how to live each day gracefully and fully has become a common topic among us. Here are seven pieces of wisdom I would like to share with everyone. By doing these seven things, I hope they can accompany you through a wonderful later life. First, we must learn to let go of our expectations of our children. Raising children is an indispensable part of our life journey, but for their growth and choices, we should give them enough space. There is no need to force them to reciprocate the same amount of love, because the essence of love lies in giving, not in demanding. Second, retirement should rely on oneself. Spending your later years with your partner and old friends is one of the most precious times in life. At the same time, we should cultivate our own interests and hobbies to make our elderly life richer and more colorful. Whether it is reading, painting, traveling, or fitness, all can bring joy to our lives. Third, we must cherish the present moment. While our bodies are still relatively healthy and our minds clear, why not taste the delicacies of various places, enjoy beautiful scenery? Do not let time slip through your fingers. Enjoy every moment of life to the fullest. Fourth, we must maintain a forgiving heart towards our children. They have their own lives and choices. We do not need to worry too much about their matters. Trust that they can handle their own problems. We only need to silently support them from behind. Fifth, we must cultivate our own interests and hobbies. In our youth, busy with work and family. We might not have had much time to do things we love. Now, we can use this leisure time to learn a new skill or develop a hobby, making life more fulfilling. Sixth, in terms of spending, we should learn to be generous to ourselves. After turning 60, our spending power may be limited, but that does not mean we should lower our quality of life. Spend what needs to be spent. Make yourself more comfortable and satisfied. Seventh, we must pay attention to our health. Do not push yourself too hard. Do not overwork. If you feel unwell, make sure to seek medical attention promptly. Do not delay treatment. Instead of relying on supplements, focus on a balanced daily diet. A balanced diet for three meals a day is better than any supplement. May we all have a healthy, happy, and fulfilling later life. Wise elders know that. After the age of 60, one should pursue a simple and profound philosophy of life. Doing the seven don'ts is the great wisdom of life and the basic guarantee of happiness in old age. Let us look at the seven don'ts together. First, do not let restlessness disturb you. Time passes like a song. Life is like a play. Gains and losses are the norms in the play. We have lost in the long river of time, but we have also gained more growth and experience because of it. For family members, especially for our partners, we should be more tolerant and understanding, as they are the most precious existence in our lives. Second, do not indulge in comparisons. Comparisons will only weigh down the soul, losing its original tranquility and happiness. After the age of 60, most of life has passed. There is no need to compete with others anymore. At this time, health is the most important wealth, and it is worth cherishing for the rest of our lives. Third, do not be stubborn. We must learn to let go of stubbornness. Many elderly people always stick to their own experiences, unwilling to accept new things. However, in this ever-changing era, we must learn to compromise and negotiate, to adapt to the constantly changing world. In retirement life, we should dare to try new lifestyles, making our lives richer and more colorful. Fourth, do not dwell on past glory or failure. The past is like smoke that is past. There is no need to dwell on past glories or failures. Learning to let go and let go will enable us to better face future life. Take 60 as a new starting point. Move forward courageously and pursue a better life. Fifth, 
do not overly care about gains and losses. Gains and losses are normal in life, and the gains and losses in life are often difficult to calculate. Caring too much will only make us lose more happiness. When we were young, we might have fought for a breath, but now at the age of knowing destiny, we should learn to let go, enjoying the tranquility and harmony of life. Sixth, do not pursue perfection excessively. Pursuing perfection is a beautiful quality, but excessive pursuit of perfection will only burden us. We must understand that life cannot be perfect in every way. Sometimes accepting imperfection is also a kind of wisdom. In elderly life, we should learn to let go of excessive demands and enjoy a relaxed and happy life. Seventh, do not complain about the heavens and others. Time is ruthless. Life is like a play. You must understand that there will always be regrets and misfortunes on the road of life. But we must learn to face it calmly. Cherish the present life with a grateful heart. Past grievances have become the smoke of the past. There is no need to dwell on them. Smile at life. Let every day be full of sunshine and hope. See the vicissitudes of the world calmly. Smile at the various states of life. These wise elders, with their seven-step wisdom, have interpreted the true meaning of elderly life for us. Let us also learn to let go. Learn tolerance. Learn to cherish. Learn gratitude. Making our lives better and happier. As we enter the sixth decade of our lives, this marks a new and important chapter in our life journey. Although the filial piety of our children comforts our souls, at this critical moment, we still need to leave a way out for ourselves, ensuring peace and happiness in our later years. Here are three points to remember. First, economic independence is crucial. Some elders may think that with age, spending will gradually decrease and choose to give their savings to their children. However, we must understand that. The pace of time does not slow down because of our wishes, and our health may face challenges at any time. Having our own financial reserves means we have the right to choose, allowing us to face the unknowns of life more calmly. Second, having an independent residence is essential. Although the company of our children is precious, Long-term cohabitation may bring differences in thoughts and living habits, causing unnecessary friction. Having our own home is not only a material guarantee, but also a spiritual comfort. It is filled with our memories and stories. It is our true refuge. Third, keep a good mindset for yourself. A peaceful and satisfying mindset is also crucial. Although 60 is still seen by many as a continuation of youth, we should also learn to let go appropriately. Our grandchildren have their own lives and paths. We only need to give them care and support when they need it, enjoy our own lives, and savor the tranquility of time. This is not only respect for ourselves, but also the best help to our children. After the age of 60, let us learn to be independent and tolerant maintain economic independence, have our own residence, and keep a peaceful mindset. This way, we can not only support ourselves, reduce the burden on our children, but also fill our life journey with sunshine and laughter. There is no need to panic. 60 is just the best time in life, with time on our hands, and no material worries. As long as our minds do not decline, Youth will always stay in our hearts. At this moment, having walked through two-thirds of our life journey, our hearts are as calm as a serene lake, undisturbed by waves. We should cherish the details of life, embracing each new dawn and dusk. Sixty feels like a dream, from the appearance of the morning glow to the slanting of the setting sun. It makes me understand more. In this bustling and noisy world, the sincerity of family and the value of friendship, every cycle of life is like flowers blooming and falling. After blooming fully, we can reap a ground full of splendor and beauty. Stepping into 60, 
Remember these few words. Even if life is busy, take time to read them. They will guide you towards a happy remaining life. First, cherish every ordinary day, not just holidays. Ordinary days are equally precious. Secondly, material pursuits are far less important than health and happiness. Inner joy is the true wealth. Third, learn to be silent. Sometimes, in the face of misunderstanding, choosing not to explain can better show wisdom. Moreover, as we grow older, we long more for tranquility, and a peaceful mindset helps in maintaining mental and physical health. Additionally, simplify thoughts, let go of unnecessary worries, and allow life to return to simplicity so the heart can find true peace. At 60, let us use this calm and wise mindset to accompany every sunrise and sunset making our later years more fulfilling and wonderful. The journey after 60 is not the end, but the start of a new chapter. The wisdom and experiences we've accumulated over the years are our greatest treasures. Let's keep a positive attitude, enjoy the beauty of life, and embrace each day with gratitude and joy. Here are some more thoughts to ponder. Eighth, stay socially active. Engage with friends and family. Participate in community activities and do not isolate yourself. Social interactions can bring joy and help prevent loneliness. Ninth, keep learning. Age should never be a barrier to gaining new knowledge or skills. Whether it's picking up a new language, a musical instrument, or any other hobby, continuous learning keeps the mind sharp and the spirit young. Tenth, practice gratitude. Every day, Reflect on the things you are grateful for. This habit can shift your focus from what's lacking to the abundance around you, fostering a more positive outlook on life. Eleventh, embrace change. Life is constantly evolving, and so should we. Be open to new experiences and adapt to the changes around you. Flexibility in thinking and living can lead to a more harmonious life. Twelfth, nurture your relationships. Spend quality time with loved ones, listen to them, and show appreciation. Strong, loving relationships provide emotional support and joy. Thirteenth, take care of your mental health. Practice mindfulness, meditation, or other relaxation techniques. Managing stress and maintaining mental health are crucial for overall well-being. Fourteenth, give back to the community. Volunteer your time and skills to help others. Acts of kindness and community service not only benefit others, but also bring fulfillment and purpose to your life. As we embrace these principles, our lives after 60 can be vibrant, meaningful, and joyful. Remember, every stage of life has its own beauty and value. By living with intention and wisdom, we can make our later years the best years of our lives. To summarize, after 60, we should 1. Let go of expectations of our children. 2. Rely on ourselves for a fulfilling retirement. 3. Cherish the present moment and enjoy life. 4. Maintain a forgiving heart towards our children. 5. Cultivate interests and hobbies to enrich our lives. 6. Be generous to ourselves and maintain a good quality of life. 7. Pay attention to our health and seek timely medical care. Additionally, we should avoid 1. Restlessness and maintain inner peace. 2. Comparisons and appreciate our unique journey. 3. Stubbornness and be open to new experiences. 4. Dwelling on past glories or failures and focus on the present. 5. Overly caring about gains and losses and enjoy the simplicity of life. 6. Pursuing perfection excessively and embrace imperfection. 7. Complaining about life and practice gratitude and positivity. And finally, remember to 1. Maintain economic independence for security. 2. Have an independent residence for comfort. 3. Keep a good mindset for happiness. 4. Stay socially active to prevent loneliness. 
5. Keep learning to stay mentally sharp. 6. Practice gratitude for a positive outlook. 7. Embrace change and adapt to new experiences. 8. Nurture relationships for emotional support. 9. Take care of mental health to manage stress. 10. Give back to the community for fulfillment. Let us make the most of our later years, living with joy, peace, and fulfillment, and creating beautiful memories that will last a lifetime.